is it's simply been too long since we said hello to County Monaghan's biggest celebrity and best trainer. So it is a very good afternoon to up Monaghan, Oliver Brady. Hello, Oliver. Hello, Matt. And up Monaghan is right. It's a long time since I could t get talking to your viewers and, and say that to them. But I'm still, I'm still around. And, and don't worry, I'll be around for a long time to come. Good news. I hear you've had a few floods in Monaghan. Yes, we got flooded out, Matt. Um, we never seen water before, but nevertheless, we're still surviving. But you're still being able to drink a bit of tea in Bally Bay? Yeah, the, well, we have water to make it anyway. <laughs> and how is Oliver Brady as a whole? I know you're saying you'll be around for a long time, but you've had your health issues in the past. You seem to be really, you know, running around very nicely at the moment. Yes, I'm going well, Matt. I have to say uh, that God's been good to me and... Uh, my health is holding up lovely and uh, not getting as many winners as I'd like to get, but I'm in the door all the time. Are we going to change that today, possibly? We hope we will, Matt. Uh, I have three out of the five that I'm fancy. OK, well, let's start off, Let's start with Imperial Shabra, who, you know, isn't a bad little horse, has done well no, for I Shabra. Think, I think he's a good little horse. I've just been aiming him a wee bit higher than I should be doing it, but... And nevertheless, I've been collecting money for the owner for what I'm doing, and she's very happy enough about that. But this is a different race today, and I think he'll be pretty. He has a pretty big chance. I'm, I'm going there thinking that I won't be out of the first three anyway. So I don't know what his odds are, but he's a good each way bet anyway. He's around twelve to one. Obviously, Stonemaster yeah, is a well for your viewers. It's if I was them, I'd lump on and get a few bob for Christmas. Okay, a little bit each way, maybe on Imperial Shabra Stonemaster though. I guess the one to beat in that race. Um, Darube's been in good form last time out. Yes, I just think maybe the heavy ground might catch him out today. That's it. But I'm still a chance if he gets through the ground and can handle the ground. He's a small horse and he punches down our big fences. So um, I'd, I'd be more interested in seeing him winning maybe next week uh, down the country at smaller fences. But nevertheless, he's trying his best. And I think... But he's, he's a very short price uh, horse and uh, far too short for to say to your uh, viewers to get lumped onto him because I just don't think he's good enough. OK, so it's interesting what you say, that punch stands at a big galloping track with big fences and they he, they might not just quite suit little old Daru. No, he's, he's only 15 to this horse and he's very small, Matt. And at least I'm being truthful to your punters. I, I'm not there for fresh air. I'm there to try with them. But I just think that the fences might find him out. And if he turned out to be a five or six to one shot, I think uh, maybe he'd be all right. But at a miserable old five to two, he'd carry none of my money. Yeah, he's actually a bit bigger than that now, Oliver. He is about six to one. So maybe... Yeah, he'll... well, he, if he's six to one, he's a, he's a good each way chance. OK. Um... Yeah, he's, he, he's trying. That, uh, all I can say to your viewers is, there's nothing sure that they're on a trier. OK. Will we be on a trial with Hall Trails Lad? Uh, yes, I think I think he might be the, the dark horse of them all. I think he's well capable of winning. That He's working very well at home, and the only thing I don't know at this stage is, does he handle heavy going? But if he handles heavy going, he'll win. You really, you think he's got a bit of ability, yeah? Because he's a oh, massive yeah, prize. That, yeah, he's a real nice horse, that fella. OK, Audrell's lad, he, even if he doesn't do anything today. Uh, no, well, I think he will do something today. Right, OK. OK. Well, his, his Sar C. Raven, who used to be trained by John Gosden, had a, had a bit of form in soft ground uh, in various places, although also had form on firm. So it'd be interesting to see how he copes with the conditions. Well, if he copes with the conditions, he'll be bang there. He'll, he'll, he'll take a lot of beating, I can tell you now. OK, we know you go abroad a lot for your charity. I'm not sure if you've ever been to Mexico, but you've got a, a Mexican adventure in the five yes, o'clock. well, Mex Mexican adventure would need to start yesterday. Right. Not a lot so, of hope there, then. So No, no hope there at all. In actual fact, I'm not so sure he wasn't just 100% sound this morning, and I'm not so sure if he'll run or not. I'll right. make a decision. He's on his way to the racetrack, and I'll make a decision when I get there. OK, so maybe... But he could be he could be a non-runner, but at the moment he's a runner and I'll be checking him when I get up there to make sure... You'd want him all right when he runs because he's been off the track a long no, time. No, all he, he has is there's not too much wrong with his legs. Uh, with the bad weather, the, the all-weather gallop, he's sort of chipped his heels a wee bit. It's just like a wee graze on his heels, but 
I'll, I'll bandage him up, but he's not anyway. I can tell you that. OK, that's Mexican adventure, though. You can rule him out. He will not yeah. win the five o'clock, although, of course, he'll be trying to win, he, he, but he won't win. Is really what no, we'll, we'll be trying with him, but I know that he's not. He's not good enough. That's just the answer to your question. He's too highly handicapped for a start. He, he might win if he got a mark of around 90, but he's running off a hundred and a um, hundred. Yeah. yeah. And it's too high for him. He's, he's £10 too high in the handicap. And we'd love Sleeve Gully and Girl to do well for the Shabra yeah, charity. She, again, she, she's uh, the charity horse... Um, she got a wee bit of a, a, a fright at jumping hurdles, and I just put her back here to give her a bit of confidence. So she'll not be winning either. So the three of them there, Matt, and I hope you're you're um, gets a few quid off them. But the, them three will be certainly knocking on the door. Yeah. Reminder, Shabra Charity. I believe you've raised nearly three hundred and fifty thousand euros at the current mark. Your aim, of course, is is six hundred thousand euros. I think. Yes, I mean, well, I, amazing. I, my 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 Cheltenham preview this year, Matt, is going to be something special. Right. I, I can tell you now that we'll have the best uh, Cheltenham preview in the whole of Great Britain and Ireland and Ireland, the whole of it. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I, we're, we're already putting plans in motion, and I don't care who runs a, a preview, the not one, one, one like mine. Well, it's already the best, hope, isn't it? I, my plan is to raise 100,000 on that night. Wow. That'll give you an idea of if my, my aim is 100,000 for the charity. Great work with the charity, and I have to thank all your viewers and say thanks very much. We couldn't have done it without them, without them supporting us. Uh, I'm no good. I only do what people helps me to do, and certainly at the rate of our uh, good people and and our viewers and themselves have been very. I have to say that the only thing I have to apologise is that I haven't spoken to them to them for a long time. It's not my fault. If 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 you had been doing your job right, Matt, they would have backed the one winner at Listowel, but nobody give me a call to ask me would the horse win by twenty nine lengths. And you'll be hearing more about that fella. Now, I have to say to the viewers, I have a really good, strong team this year. And uh, I expect a lot of winners. And I know that I'm a Cheltenham winner this year. Oliver, always good to speak to you. You've had a good old pop at me as usual. So uh, thanks for that. And uh, uh, Well, if you, Matt, if you yeah. keep in touch, keep a bit more and you'll find that your viewers will get any tips that I have. I've always done for you and for your viewers. I've always truth about the horses and I've always told you we're going to win and I'm telling you I have three, three good priors today well I'll do my best I'll do my best to call in future apologies for that um, yeah. look thank you very much up Monaghan let's get that 350,000 up for the charity let's have a winner at Punchestown this afternoon Oliver if you were just to pick one of your top three which one would I have a five a euro each way on on uh, Audrey Ellis lad or Drella's Lad in the 3.55 at 25 to 1. Fingers crossed. Yeah, there you are. And oh, Matt, it's Bally no. Bead is drinking tea. Monaghan drinks brandy. And Castellini beats them all for eating sugary candy. Thanks, Oliver. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh,